Hello, you're live on Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Hello, Scotty. It's Danny from Billericay. Danny from Billericay. What a privilege to have you on and dinky do. Dinky do to you. You've had a very sad day down here in Essex. Yes, indeed, Danny. And, uh, you know, serious, serious condolences to uh, Sir David's family and, um, you know, to, to all the people of Essex and to all the people of the UK because we've lost one of our own whether or not you agreed with their point of view yeah well I knew David really well and um, he was um, years ago he used to be my MP uh, before he moved to um, South End West um, and um, apparently he was a lovely guy Absolutely, yeah. And I was I was deputy mayor of Basildon in 2015. Wow. Um, and uh, I was sent out to South End a few times on yep. jobs, and um, I I used to bump into him quite a bit. And he was a, such a he was one of those play, guys that he could pick up a conversation with you and remember the last time you saw him. Yeah. You know, that's and, a, that's um, a huge skill. It's a huge skill to be able to do that. Uh, and he was such a lovely man. It was such a, um, as you know, I run a radio station and uh, and it was such a, a shock this afternoon to get this, you know, this um, this breaking re revolving news throughout the whole of the afternoon, you know, and people have got their own stories of him. And um, I am... Um, when I when I last saw him, I was out on a, a deputy mayor job, and the, the the bus company were operating new buses, and um, he came up to me and he said, "Oh, you're Danny from Basildon, aren't you?" And I said, "Yeah, that's right." And he said, "Well, what you must do is you must stand in front of the bus that says Basildon for your picture." <laughs> Isn't that beautiful? And, yeah, and he took a load of photographs. Of of, um, of of pictures, but one of my colleagues at work, John, said to me that he did his work experience at the House of Commons because he lives in South End, and he did it at David Amos's office, and he said he just turned sixteen years old, and it was and someone had said to David that it was it was John's birthday, and and during the uh, the lunch hour, David Amos came back with a load of cakes and 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 pop to celebrate this young lad's birthday. That's the type of guy that he was, you know. Yes, and a terrific so, human dynamo as well. Tremendous energy. 